In the intensely competitive and often vicious world of stock market commentary, Art Cashin was that rarest of all creatures, a man respected by all, bulls and bears, liberals and conservatives alike. He was born in Jersey City, New Jersey in 1941 and began his business career when he was 17 years old and still in high school. So what you need is comfortable shoes for your work day. In 1964, at age 23, he became one of the youngest members of the New York Stock Exchange. Years later, he would proudly point to the book he signed the day he became a member, a book that contained the signatures of other notables like J.P. Morgan, John D. Rockefeller, Arthur D. Cashin, Jr., December 30th, 1964. Cashin was head of floor trading for Payne Weber, then UBS, and was a regular commentator on CNBC for more than 25 years. But he was best known as a market historian, a teller of stories, and a regular at the many watering holes around the New York Stock Exchange. Part of his charm was his refusal to adopt many of the conveniences of the modern world. He refused to learn how to use a computer. His notes were handwritten and then sent to his assistant. His desk was piled high with papers he had accumulated over many years. Years. He refused to buy a smartphone. He refused to use credit cards and paid for everything with cash. You pay by credit card. People know where you went to drink, how much you drank, um, and uh, what you were drinking. So uh, if, if you want to keep the anonymity in there, uh, you pay cash. But Cashin is perhaps best remembered for his skill as a storyteller about the markets. I have been fortunate enough over the years to be able to look at very complicated situations or problems and be able to reduce them to understandable items by using a story or a parable or something. His daily market commentary, Cashin's comments, ran continuously for over 40 years and was widely read on Wall Street. It invariably began with a history lesson that was applied to the stock market. Sue sends you a big kiss. Hold on. Mm -hmm. ah. I wish you had delivered That's... it personally, Sue. <laughs> Among his many friends, Cashin will perhaps be best remembered for his modesty. Hey. He seemed genuinely puzzled about his popularity. People have an interest in Arthur Cashin. I can't fully understand why. Typically, he demurred when the Washington Post ran a long profile of his career, calling him Wall Street's version of Walter Cronkite. Well, I think I owe an apology to Walter Cronkite, but that's all right. One, two, three. Wait.